Hello. So the Commonwealth Scholarships Commission is called the Commonwealth Scholarships Commission because it houses numerous scholarships inside its commission body. And some of the scholarships in which the commission have includes the Commonwealth Shade Scholarships, the Commonwealth Master Scholarship, Distant Learning Commonwealth Scholarship, Split Learning Commonwealth Scholarship, Queen Elizabeth Scholarships, and others. So you can check out all the various Commonwealth Scholarships that are there in the commission and the ones you're going to prepare for. But in today's video, we are going to dissect from the various standpoints and differences between the Commonwealth Master Scholarship and the Commonwealth Shade Scholarships because it has brought a lot of diverging views and questions how those two scholarships are different since they come from the same body. So I would advise that you grab a popcorn and a bottle of water and sit down because it's going to be a very interesting yet educative time to learn the differences. If you are a new viewer, you're welcome. If you're a recurring subscriber, thank you for being here once again. It's always a pleasure to have you here. All right, let's dissect in. The first differences between the Commonwealth Shade Scholarship and the Commonwealth Master Scholarship, it's the name. Yeah, it might seem a little bit confusing, but look at it again. It is called the Commonwealth Master Scholarship and the Commonwealth Shade Scholarship. People have asked me, but the Commonwealth Master Scholarship, the Commonwealth Scholarship is close. I'm like, no, there are two different things. The Commonwealth Master Scholarship is always the first scholarship that opens in the year, and it's usually between September and October. That's when the Commonwealth Master Scholarships get open. Currently, as I'm shooting this video, Commonwealth Shade Scholarship is open. But well, people will check online and they see Commonwealth scholarships and they will just say deadline has passed and they will not check the differences between their names and that's very wrong to do. If you're applying for a scholarship, one thing that is required from you is diligence and attention to details. If you don't get that, I don't think you can get other things. So when you are searching on your search engines and you see the name Commonwealth Master Scholarships, know that it is very different from the Cornwall Shade Scholarship. And today, as I'm shooting this video, the Cornwall Shade Scholarship is currently ongoing. And the deadline for application is on the 12th of December. So you still have weeks before that deadline. For the Cornwall Master Scholarships, it is already close. The second difference, I'm, I'm, I'm picking it up from my phone because I've already um, written it out. As a Cornwall Shade Scholar, I know the differences and I can tell you, I don't want to miss any point. That's why I am reading this. So kindly follow me. The second difference is its nominating body. So let me explain that. I'm from Nigeria and we have what is called nominating bodies that are kind of tailored to the country that you come from. In Nigeria, there are various um, nominating bodies. The FSB, that is Federal Scholarship Board. We have FAWE, Forum Africa Women Educationalist. We have um, another body that only nominates people that are disable then we have another body like that so in nigeria there are four nominating bodies it is in your position to choose which of the nominating bodies that you want to nominate you somebody will ask me how do i choose so when you are putting in the application for the common world master scholarships as you are about to start the application after you have put in your personal details they they are going to ask you which nominating body do you choose to nominate you so it's actually in your jurisdiction it is in your choice to decide which of the nominating bodies can nominate you. So you decide who you want to nominate you. It's very interesting. You have that power and will. So you choose which nominating body would um, nominate you. It's the same thing for all the countries, just that the nominating bodies from, for various Commonwealth countries is different. So the ones I just gave you are the nominating bodies for Nigeria. So you choose which one. Now, one thing, before you choose a nominating body, you have to research what are the criteria for this nominating body? Because apart from the eligibility criteria for applying for the Cornwall Master Scholarships, some nominating bodies also have the eligibility criteria that you have to meet before they can nominate you or before you can choose them to nominate you. So do not go and rush there and choose a particular nominating body without being certain and sure that you're eligible for this nominating body to nominate you. It is actually one of the criteria to check. Now, the second thing, yeah, while the shared scholarship is in the shared scholarship, it is a partner school that nominates you. So I'll, I'll get to that in more details. The, sec the next thing is that um, the Commonwealth Master Scholarships give you the liberty to choose your course and your school. 
so it's like you're given an ocean in the common world master scholarships and they say choose any fish you want the common world master scholarships if you are choosing that scholarship you are coming to the united kingdom to school so you can choose any school in the united kingdom if you like university of oxford cambridge university hall university university of wolverhampton wherever whichever city you've always dreamed to visit this is your opportunity whichever school you admire imperial college of london whichever school it is that you admire you can choose the school had they ever been a course you dreamt of applying and you know you're eligible you're gonna have admission shoot your shot that is the liberty you have with the commonwealth master scholarships it gives you that liberty that ground to apply to any school as long as the school is in the united kingdom but if you're applying for the common world shade scholarship you do not have such liberty that is why the common world shade scholarship is very very competitive the the common world scholarships body partner with schools so the school will decide i want to sponsor people from the common world countries they put their names they meet the csc at csc common world scholarships commission and they say okay i think this year can sponsor two people I think this year I can sponsor five people. I think this year I can sponsor nine people. I think this year I can sponsor seven people. So these are the courses I want to sponsor. They decide the courses they want to sponsor. They decide the schools and they decide the number of scholarships they want to give out in a particular year. That is why the common worship is very competitive. You don't have that liberty to choose just any school. It is only the schools that you see in the common world scholarships commission websites when you are applying that you can actually choose to nominate you. That is the difference. So it's very limited with the common world shared scholarship, but it is with the common world master scholarship. Exactly. So, um, yeah. As for the common world master scholarships the next this is the next difference i don't know which number i've mixed it up but the next difference is that the common world scholarship sponsors everything right from your accommodation to your monthly stipend to your tuition fee to your flights every single thing is paid by the common world scholarships for the common world master scholarships but for the common world shared scholarships the common world only pay for your tuition they don't pay for any other thing so like me my school was the one that paid for my flight ticket they paid for my tb test because for my country before i would come into the united kingdom i'm required to do tb test so if that is required in your country the common world shared scholarships are going to reimburse you your money as long as you prov provide the receipt and your certificate that you actually did the test and they're going to pay your flight ticket and they'll be the one to take care of you as long as you are staying in the united kingdom they take care of your monthly stipend throughout and every other thing inclusive study grant and everything but the common world scholarships commission body only pay your tuition that is the difference with the common world master scholarships they pay everything but with the shared scholarships the common world scholarship commission only pay your tuition while the school that nominates you actually Pay the rest that is why if you are choosing a school and you're choosing a course you have to put in your best a school is not going to carry you pick you up and uh, if they don't see a value in your essay that is why you have to take time and write your essay because it is the school scholarship committee that reads the essay and they think you will be a good candidate to fit into the course of choice that you have chosen so if you are not a good fit for a particular course do not even try applying it if you know you don't have a strong foothold in a particular course don't try applying for it because you know it is what it is so yep these are the major differences between the commonwealth shared scholarships and the commonwealth master scholarships i've been able to cover the major differences between them so yes that is it i hope you got value from this video if you did like this video drop a comment and uh, subscribe hit the notification button because i'm gonna hit hard on the ways on how to win this scholarship i know what it took me to be here and i'm gonna give out my best to ensure that you too you would be here thank you and have a great life